This was my very first fight as a self-taught boxer and I ate shots like three course meals because I was stiff and I had no footwork. However, as of recently, my main focus has been on footwork and I've been doing these specific drills that I'll be talking about in this video for the past two months and they skyrocketed my footwork and now I feel like a baby Lomachenko. If you've been feeling stiff on your feet and you want to change your footwork, you came to the right video because in this video, I'll be presenting y'all with three boxing drills that's going to improve your footwork by a lot. The first drill we got is toe taps with a plate. And I know that some of you may not have a plate accessible to you, but I highly recommend you buy a plate of some sort because this drill is one of the best drills for footwork. I'll list the one you can buy down below in the description. When you're doing this, you do not want your heel touching the floor. And when you do it, you should be moving left and right. And this helps with your lateral movement. This drill also helps you build ankle strength it helps you with balance and it keeps you light on your feet but the most important benefit in my opinion would be that it helps you get used to the feeling of moving with a plantar flex toe if you didn't know already staying on your toes while boxing helps you move a lot faster and effectively rather than if you were flat-footed however both have their pros and cons but i won't be talking about them in this video and if you really want to know more about the two types of foot movements i recommend you check this video out by tony jeffries the second drill is shoe shining there's a misconception about this drill only being a tool to show off speed, but it's a pretty damn good drill for footwork. This drill is a great conditioning workout and it helps with hand feet coordination. Now how do you do this drill? First off you need to get into a squared up position and next you want to have your elbows drive upward by a 45 degree angle and have it move in the direction of the center line. Then once you do this you're going to tap the floor with the balls of your feet along with your punches like this. Start off slowly and then really focus on a coordination between your feet and your elbow drive and then slowly build up once you get comfortable with it. The third drill that I got for y'all is simply just shadow boxing. You know, there are many ways to shadow box, however, if you want a more footwork based workout, you should do this. For this workout, set a timer for 3 minutes and after every punch or combination that you throw, you should move out of your quote unquote opponent's range by pivoting or simply just stepping out of their range. And I forgot to mention, when you shadow box, you should imagine an opponent in front of you if you want a better shadow boxing simulation. And if you want to take it to the more advanced level, you should practice punching while moving. This drill teaches your body not to be tense while you box and it builds the muscle memory of punching while simultaneously getting out of your opponent's punching range. Remember, your best defense is not getting hit. So gang guys, the end of this video and those are the three workouts that are going to help improve your footwork. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and maybe if you want to, you can sub. But yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day.